You have learned how covalent bonds are formed when atoms combine. In this lesson, you will find out more about covalent bonds in terms of their energy and length. You have also learned how to draw Lewis structures for molecules and ions. Some molecules and ions, however, cannot be represented by simple Lewis structures. In this lesson, you will learn how to use ideas of resonance to explain the bonding in such molecules and ions. The bond length is the length of a covalent bond from the nucleus of one atom to the nucleus of the other. It may be measured in units of nanometers. The diagram shows three hydrocarbon molecules, each containing two carbon atoms. The first one is ethane, where there is a single covalent bond between the two carbon atoms. The second one is ethene, where there is a double covalent bond between the two carbon atoms. The third one is ethyne, where there is a triple covalent bond between the two carbon atoms. How can you tell which one has a single bond, which one has a double bond, and which one has a triple bond? Answer. In ethane, there is one pair of electrons between the carbon atoms. In ethene, there are two pairs of electrons, and in ethyne, three pairs of electrons. Now look at the carbon-carbon bond lengths in the three molecules. What can you conclude from this? Answer. The carbon-carbon double bond is shorter than the carbon-carbon single bond. The carbon-carbon triple bond is shorter than the carbon-carbon double bond. Which of the following would be the longest and which the shortest? Nitrogen-nitrogen single bond, nitrogen-nitrogen double bond, nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond. Answer. The triple bond is shortest and the single bond is longest. Energy is given out when bonds are formed and energy is required when bonds are broken. Bond energy is the energy required to break one mole of bonds in the gas state. It is measured in units of kilojoules per mole. The chart is going to compare the bond energy for some common bonds. Click Add Energy to see the bond energy of a hydrogen molecule. How much energy is needed to break the HH bond? Answer. 436 kilojoules per mole. Now, select chlorine-chlorine bond and click Add Energy to see the bond energy of a chlorine molecule. Repeat the process for the hydrogen-oxygen bond and the hydrogen-fluorine bond. Which bond is hardest to break and which easiest? Answer. The hardest to break is hydrogen fluorine at 568 kilojoules per mole. Easiest to break, chlorine chlorine at 243 kilojoules per mole. Finally, there is an unknown bond XY. Repeat the process with this. What is the bond energy for this bond? Answer, 346 kilojoules per mole. Look at the table and identify XY from the table. Answer, K 
carbon chlorine. The shorter the bond, the greater the bond energy and the stronger the bond. Summary The bond length is the distance between the two nuclei in a covalent bond. It may be measured in units of nanometers. The bond length in a triple bond is shorter than in a double bond. The bond length in a double bond is shorter than in a single bond. The bond energy is the energy required to break one mole of bonds in the gas state. It is measured in units of kilojoules per mole. The shorter the bond, the greater the bond energy and the stronger the bond.